Sagittarius, this is all about you. Sagittarius sun, moon, rising sign, or whatever Sagittarius affects your or influences, I should say, your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Time stamp it, if you will. Bottom line is it comes to you when it's supposed to come to you. So whenever you see this video for the next seven days out, these are the energies. These are the um, energies that you will be working in and around you. Um, Sagittarius. So let's get into your reading. We're going to do a full, I'm going to do a full air, uh, oracle card spread here. This is your uh, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I do a full air oracle card spread right now. We're going to get right into it. And then there's an extended link in the description box of this video uh, for a full tarot card spread and uh, additional romantic tarot reading for the entire week. I just put out my romantic tarot, my romantic weekend tarot for next weekend. So this will give you all those romantic energies leading up to that, um, up to that energy. So let's see what energy is crowning your, your week this week, Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy for the week coming, for the week ahead. Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Maybe a little too much, but... Okay. Oh, spirit has your back. Um, this may be, I fought the law and the law won. Better watch out for those speeding tickets. This is essentially Sagittarius. Um, something is almost like, a, a it's almost like feeling like the world is against you and then somebody has judged you unfairly. Um, this energy of feeling like the whole world is coming down on you or somebody is actually coming down on you. This could be uh, losing a lawsuit or losing a job, falling out of favor or walking away from an establishment. A sense of what was right isn't right anymore. Um, not necessarily a breakup in a relationship. This doesn't have much to do with romance, but this is a, an understanding of what you used to believe. Ethics that you used to have, they don't work for you anymore because maybe you've seen something that really turned you off and and sort of flipped you upside down in terms of what's happening in your life right now there's a sense of things being unfair you really feel or or it really is kind of not feeling like it's fair like like somebody has just completely and totally left you and abandoned you this could be uh, being abandoned or being left or feeling betrayed this is also jupiter leaving your home where you had a very um interesting year a very adventurous year. Um, not as peaceful as we would have liked it to, to be, but definitely uh, much better than it's feeling now. It's almost feeling like you've been left flat. You've been dumped. This could be a loss of a job. This could be that mentality of this is your focus this week of not necessarily trying to get back into favor, but trying to recover from or recuperate from this great loss. There's some sort of loss. Like I said, it could have been a lawsuit. It could have been money you had to pay out. It could have been a car accident, an insurance claim. This would be the justice card in reverse, something that you were decided against. So you were part of the layoff or um, you were part of a discrimination case or something happened where it was either injustice, injustice happened to you or you were it was you were in the middle of a, a a lawsuit or a court case and it that they decided against you or you got laid off Some, something because this is the card of the institution the government perhaps even in some ways the military the country this is feeling disillusioned by something that you're supposed to admire you know um a sense of really you got to be kidding me right now i don't think so like i'm you this was a sense of really being disappointed in an ideal, esoterically speaking, philosophically speaking. It could be the disappointment of an ideal and having to somehow come to terms with that this week. That's the energy crowning your reading. But there's a lot of cards on this table and I, I don't think I should, I can't take them all. This is a little bit ridiculous. So um, let me shuffle from the cards that did fall out and let me see what comes out for you. Because this is a lot of cards on the table. I guess I'm going to take them all. Okay, let's see. We have reclaim your power. This is definitely the feeling of you have been watched or somebody has been watching you. It could even be like private investigator shit. Like I'm, the, I'm dead serious. Like PI, somebody was watching you. Somebody was getting information. Somebody dug into your private shit. Somebody, somebody was stalking you to get information that 
um, they should not have been privy to or did not have access to. This is the energy of trying to come back from really being backstabbed and betrayed, really having somebody throw you under the bus. This is how you lost your job. You got caught up in BS. You tried to help this person and then they threw you, threw you under the bus to save themselves type of this is that type of energy. This is what you're struggling with against this week. This is a sense of finding who you are in the darkness or finding your way in the darkness, finding a comeback, making a comeback. But this definitely is a feeling I'm getting this energy coming off that, that, in com that just this energy in combination with this card, this crowning energy is a sense of um, you needing stabilization, you needing 4-4. Um, four, four. See that? First of all, 8. So this was faded and destined. This is... Um, this is fated and destined in that you're supposed to be going through this right now to uh, get to a higher sense of self, get to a higher sense of you, get to a better you, a better position in life. But this is sort of your dark times that you're going through. I don't think everything in your life is bad. I just think that you're really miffed about a specific thing. And there's definitely this energy of somebody had been watching you and gathering information on you that they should not have had access to and they used it against you. Uh, love is all around you. So you do have support. Uh, Sagittarius, there's, there's, it's not that you've been abandoned by everybody. You've just been really pissed off by a specific situation. But look at you are getting support in the world. And somebody is sticking up for you and singing your praises. This is a sing my praises card. This is Gemini energy. So it could, it could be a friend that's a Gemini or just... Somebody who's an extremely good communicator, a litigator, if you're having something with the law, coming in and sticking up for you and, and, and singing your praises and wording it in a way that people will listen. So this is a really good person to have a really good energy or a person to have to have on your side. Time for a beginner mind. Yeah, you're bristly this week. You're a little bit pissed and you're a little bit irritated. You got your armor of spikes on that you're wearing and you're ready oh you're ready don't let anybody get too close to you this week because they're going to get they're going to get some serious hurt on if they come anywhere near you and look at you because you're Sagittarius you are who you are oh and look at this is four eight and what were the you have a lot of fours here you have four four which added up to eight and then you have four one which is a new beginning a new stability being formed and this is you also this is five four plus one is five <laughs> And this is the energy of four and eight, which adds up to 12, okay? You really do need to start over. And this is all about feeling like you have to start over when you shouldn't have had to start over. And that's why you're so pissed and you're so bristly. And there is an overt irritation to you. You do not mind letting people know how irritated you are and how pissed you are and that you will cut them if they come too close. You, like I said, you're trying to be all cute, you know, dress up your spikes and little feathers and bows. You can put anything you want on that you want. People can see, don't mess with you. Don't mess with you because there's such a sweet little person underneath, but they've been messed with one too many times. One too many times, sing your own song, Canary. This could be just liberated from jail or feeling like you've just been liberated from jail. This is being able to finally sing your own song. So there is a bittersweet sense about what you lost. You may have lost something, but you've also gained a lot of freedom and a lot of time. Um, a lot of ability to actually look into the things that you really dream about and you really want in your life. This is another card that adds up to three. You have... Three here too, because you have eight plus four equals 12 and two plus one, one plus two, which is 12 is equal to three. You have two threes here. So this is actually for a blessed reason and whether or not you feel abandoned, I know you feel abandoned, but people are act people actually have your back Sagittarius. They have not abandoned you. Um, and a lot of people are singing your praises and try to help you. This is also somebody sticking up for you, trying to bail you out, right? Maybe sending you money. Um, um, cheering you up just by being supportive making you laugh or or entertaining yourself there is this sense of i have time on my hands time to collaborate putting your head together with somebody i feel like this is definitely working with a lawyer or working with an agent or working with a representative somebody who can actually help you start building up your resume or your uh portfolio or your business rebuilding from scratch after everything seems to have fallen apart this may be support that you didn't expect but you're going to take it because you need the help uh you need somebody to help you do the heavy lifting you need the help so ask for it 
because it is going to be there for you, Sagittarius. People adore your ass, man. Everybody always wants to be around you. They will help you put these pieces together again. You could be getting, you could be getting just assistance out of nowhere that you didn't even expect. A message coming in that helps to lead you into a new direction, a new beginning. Once again, time for a beginner mind, and then you got the one card. So you're starting over. Whatever came apart, whether it was a job or a legal situation or something to do, like whatever it is, something to do with family or the state, something to do with sort of that larger unit, whatever has fallen apart, you're going to be able to piece those pieces back together again. You have to get, you're, you're going to have the energy and you're going to have the resources provided for you this week. Set healthy boundaries. That's going to be very difficult. I'm going to let you know that right now. This week is going to be very difficult for you to set healthy boundaries because you're going to be tempted to do like armadillo and just wrap yourself up in armor and not let anybody reach you or anybody get to you because you are pissed this week. And you basically are just trying to shut everybody out. Bottom line is people love you. People love you. So emotionally, I think this is you this week. I'm just trying to shut everybody out and shut down completely Sagittarius and just basically make the decision of everybody can go themselves. But people have still got your back. And that's just the darn truth. So go ahead. You know what? I usually tell people when this card comes out, be sure you're not weighing yourself down. This is three. Another three. This is fated. This is destiny. This was supposed to happen to you. Three, three, three. Angels are definitely watching out for you and they've got your back. They've got something wonderful and healthy and healing. This is a healing time for you in store. So I usually say when this card comes out that you need to let go of that armor because a healthy boundary is like you don't want to have the Great Wall of China resting on your back or wrapped around you so nobody can reach you. But you also don't want that armor to be so thin that it's not armor. It's just like a this fucking mesh screen, you know, that's not, that's not what this is. You know what, if this makes you feel secure and this makes you feel safe this week, go ahead. I think that maybe you need to wear it. You need to put it on because you, <clears throat> you normally are so, you want to, you want to, um, you're so social, you know, and you're so, you so, you so want to be a part of people this week. This card is telling me you don't want to be a part of anybody. You just want everybody to leave you alone except for the people that you need, but you need help. So remember, there has to be a really fine balance this week between who you push away and who you let in. Trust people. Things are going to start new. This is a brand new beginning, a fresh start. So this is really what it was all about, is a fresh start. And I think the road ahead is a little bit more difficult, not because obstacles are being thrown at you, but because it, it goes against, you don't want to look at the details. You don't want to plan ahead, but Capricorn season demands it. And your ruling planet is now in Capricorn. And you've got to sort of think like a Capricorn does. Plan ahead. Be responsible. Schedule things and pay attention to those details. That's irritating you. You don't even want to think about it. That's probably why you're so defensive and pissed. But the truth is, all the rest of these cards are upright. Which means you are getting a second chance. You are actually going to be able to start a whole new life. And the future is beautiful. This is 6-6. Six, six. This is the card, like the lovers is the sixth card in the tarot card deck. This is a brand new start. Maybe a brand new start in love. Maybe a brand new love life. Maybe a brand new relationship. But definitely just a brand new start in general that you will eventually love. Take time out to heal. What did I say? This is an extremely, this is the energy of healing this week. And this is bear. And bear shows up to protect you so he takes the heavy hits and you can rest assured and sleep behind him and let it go. You can just exhale. This is a very protective energy, but this is externally protective. So I feel like this week when somebody sees you shutting down or closing off or losing hope, they're going to come in and they're going to defend you and they're going to blast through all that kind of depression. And they're also going to remind you of who the f you are and they're going to build you up and also sort of block out any more negativity coming at you so that you can heal heal this is a mom like a mama energy this is like your mother your grandmother an energy of a somebody who loves you a great deal just wants to come in there and protect you um this is your this is your season surrender now just give it over sagittarius don't try to control it and don't try to change it just let it be be here right now in this moment don't look too far in the future because it, the tasks are going to be insurmountable. And please don't look in the, back, in the past. You don't tend to do that anyway. This is be in the present moment and trust in the present moment. 
Trust that what's in front of you now is here for your best purposes. Let it go. Release yourself over to these very helpful energies that want to help in this time uh, that you need them. This is so many cards. Now is a lucky time because spirit has a plan. You're about to take off. There is a, there's a bigger purpose in why this all happened. And it's because you basically needed a new start. This is the energy of revving up and about to move fast. And you could be a lot more agile now that you've shed this extra burden. Now that you're, you're, you know, the verdict came down and it's like the worst is over. That's what I'm saying. And that's what spirit is telling you. The worst is over. The way forward is clear. Don't worry. You have no reason to worry abundance is there there you go just improvise improvisation is going to get you everywhere this week think on your feet you're good at that you are you're so good at it you have an abundance of improvisation ability you charm people with it that's just the truth um hypnotize people with your ability to entertain them and to make them feel good and make them feel happy when you are ready don't force it on yourself but you'll have the resources and you'll have the energy it may almost like strike you as a surprise you know like you're talking to somebody at a store clerk and instead of popping off at them for the first time this week you sort of make a joke and steer the the conversation back around to something that works for you you're going to come back into yourself. I just feel like in the beginning of this week, you've taken a little, you've taken a hit that was pretty hard and pretty disappointing. So this is all about, um, yeah, this is all about seeing into the future, not seeing into the future, not like a, a psychic, but believing in the future, having faith in the future. Let me turn the camera around so you can see, hold on. So here's your whole reading. And there were actually a lot more cards that came out, but essentially what they said was, you've got a lot to look forward to. Embrace this time in between the failure and the success, because this is actually the time that is given to you so that you can regroup. What is your way forward? We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna go over and we're gonna go over to the other side and we're, I'm gonna learn that with tarot. And I'm also gonna do your romantic reading. But before we do that, let's go over really quickly this reading. This is the grounding and this is the crowning energy, the impetus for this week, the irritation. What inspired all of these feelings was you got a judgment against you, something. Like I said, loss of a job, a literal judgment against you, somebody accusing you of something that you said you didn't do. But for whatever reason, you got the worst end of it. Bottom line is this, it's more than a traffic ticket and less than a prison sentence. Let's put it that way, right? It's definitely something that will disrupt your life, but it's not going to destroy it, okay? Um, and here is this energy of, of trying to fight your way back out of the dark, but also definitely this energy of maybe somebody coming that you... Remember I said, I kept saying somebody uh, help when you didn't expect it? Somebody is going to come, somebody who's very articulate, somebody who's very good at words, like a master litigator, somebody who's good at rhetoric, somebody who will, somebody who's just, maybe either they're a professional or they're just somebody who's always on your side, protecting you and defending you, coming to the rescue and really raising your spirits this week and helping you to sort of make a plan for moving into the future. But there is an energy here, I said, of somebody that had been watching you to collect information about you, which is what ended you up in this position. So I think a big part of your energy drain this week is doing everything in your power to not go after that person and not get revenge. You are definitely being encouraged to not waste your time on revenge. Because it will be a waste of your time. Your time, your energy has to be forward. Your energy is here. You have both Sagittarius cards on the table. Be here now and think on your feet. You're, you're making progress. The way forward, look, Spirit has come out to say, you need to think forward, not backward. Forget about what has happened. Think about what you have the potential to happen. Because even though this may have been a, sh a crappy um, circumstance, you lost your job and they didn't give you any severance or some stupid stuff like that, right? It would, it would take a, you would take a big hit, but the bottom line is now you have a lot more freedom and you do still have the resources. Somebody is supporting you and caring about you and you have the resources to start making a business plan moving forward so that you can tough it out and push through. You can do this. And if you have to shut down for a little while, Sagittarius, shut down. 
You know what I'm saying? You don't always have to be the life of the party. Sometimes you just feel crappy and you deserve that time to just relax and heal yourself because this is a time of healing and new beginnings for you. Okay, you are just coming out of a real shakeup and you're having to rebuild your life. And there's definitely this energy. I'm going to get into that energy too to see who this person was because I know everybody wants to know. I think you already know. Um, but it's forward. That's where spirit wants your attention. You're going to have the resources, even if it's you. <clears throat> Fox is very foxy, he's very tricky, he's very witty. So even if it's you, you'll find those resources, Sagittarius. You're going to get them. And you're going to, this is actually a very lucky time. It's almost like a blessing in disguise this week. So let's go over. We're going to do the extended reading. And I'm going to pull your romance, uh, your romance reading. And we'll see. I'll see you over there, Sagittarius. <laughs> 